Hey everyone, John at Track Avenue here. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what are typically referred to as capital uh, brand cartridges. These typically were used by capital records, but not always. The, you will sometimes find other artists on here such as the Bee Gees, and this is RSO Records. Uh, on the capital ones, the back will it'll be branded capital and then this one has no branding but it's, it's an identical cartridge it's going to be opened the exact same way as the ones that are branded capital there were also some earlier versions of this cartridge which i will also show you because the earlier versions typically have a screw in the middle of this cart underneath the label these later ones do not and the fastest way to tell uh, before you cut anything is to flip them over and as you can see this one does not have a screw and neither does this one if there was a screw under that label you would see the bottom of it here so in this instance there's no reason to cut the label to get this open these later versions of this cartridge as well uh, the top the top part of the shell is molded in a way so that it, it goes down into the bottom of the shell as well here it, see how it, it comes down so you don't need to cut this label either so nothing needs to be cut to open this and the way that I open these is I take my snap ring pliers and I squeeze this cart shell if you can see that there. I put pressure I'm putting pressure on both sides here so I'm squeezing it with my hand I'm going to put the snap ring pliers in the center hole here, or center slot, and then pop it open. And these notoriously have absolutely horrible reels in them, so something to be mindful of is to look for reels that have warped in a downward way, which would make the, this hard to turn. Um, these use the same style of reel as the Warner Brothers cartridges typically, so you can swap you can swap them out. Um, but something to watch for, watch out for for these is a warped reel. And the reason that these don't use a screw, they have a tab that goes up through here, and then they have these holes on the bottom here. That the po these posts on the top part of the shell slide into and they have these I don't know what the technical term is for this but they have these raised areas inside that grab on to this po to the posts so they don't need the, the screw so what I do before I put these back together is I use a little bit of Super Lube multi-use synthetic oil. I put some in a container like this. Put a little bit on a cotton swab. Then I put a little bit on each post here and on the top of this tab. Just a little itty bitty tiny bit. This will help so when you ha if you have to open it again, it will help to ensure that this tab does not break off, which it commonly does. And it will make it easier to pull out of these, uh, these holes here. And when you put this cart back together, put those in, before you close the top, you can see the tapes, it's getting stuck on the pad here. You have to push this, push the, the play tape towards the front here, or towards the back part of the bottom shell. And then make sure everything looks good, the pad's going underneath, underneath the tape, it's not going to hit anything. Then you can snap it back together, then make sure it's going to... It's going to feed properly because this has a tendency to get pinched. If you don't do it just right, it has a tendency to get pinched and stuck right here at this tab. The tape does. So just be careful when putting that back together like that. Now, the other two styles, this one is very similar to the one I just opened. However, if you flip it over, you'll see that it does, there is a screw in this one. 
because it's the bottom of the screw. And it's under this label. This also, the top part of the shell does not go down into the bottom into the bottom part like the other one. So in this instance, you do have you will have to cut the label across the top here, across this line, to get this off. Now I have already opened this up once, but what I like to do when I'm opening these is I take a, a single edge straight razor, like this you, you sometimes are called I think utility blade or scraper, and I push down. like this on one on one uh, corner here then I turn it and I push down and it, I'm making an X motion here so that when it's time to open this up after I cut the label in that X position it helps to cut the label in a way that I can easily peel it, peel it up here with a little screwdriver And then take it apart without, hopefully, damaging the label too much. So these will have a Phillips head screw. Out. These also have a tab on the back, and this one I can hear is broken. So then I carefully put that back in. So you're just cutting this in, in an X with, the, with that razor, peeling it up with a little screwdriver carefully then I put it back like this until I am completely done. I do not put the screw back in until everything has been tuned up, play tested. Um, I peel it back up, put the screw back in and then gently put the label back down. As you can see it doesn't cause that much damage to it. So Now these also they used a better reel as far as this reel does not warp and as you can see this one does not have any holes on the bottom part of the shell here, I'll take that. There is the broken. Uh, there's that broken tab. And as you can see, the top part of the shell here does not have any posts in it. That's why this uses a screw. So with this style, you have to be careful because oftentimes this, the top part of the reel, has separated from the bottom part. Now you can do your tune up. Try to carefully do your tune up. But if it has come uh, undone like that. I do not recommend trying to get this off and putting any lubrication on this spindle. And as long as the tension looks good, uh, I would just leave it alone if, if they have separated. You can wind it onto a different style of reel. Um, again, this will take the same style as other capital carts like of, of this design or the other design here. Uh, or Warner Brothers carts. But, you do run the risk of the tape pack, if you try to wind this onto a different reel, the tape pack may start want may start wanting to go towards the center and it's gonna push this up and the more you're winding it, the more out of round and stuff it's gonna get. So usually with this style I always recommend well, I almost always recommend opening up a cart to do a tune up, but this particular style with the screw usually is okay. So what I like to do is you can replace the pad in these um, without opening them up. So usually with these what I will do is I will just replace the pad without opening it up. I will check to make sure that the tape is not jammed up in any way. Um, then I will put, put it in the player and again make sure it's not jammed, it's playing. Um, I will look at the, the track listing, and so I'll like look at, let's say, program three, and I'll look at what the last song is on there. And so while it's playing, I have my machine on auto stop, but if the foil were to break, it's not going to stop and it's going eat, to get eaten. So I watch it, listen for that last song, and then as soon as that last song is over, I get ready to pull, to pull the cartridge out. And you can also replace the foil on these, as long as it doesn't break. Uh, break off and the tapes are the two pieces of tape are inside the cartridge you can replace the foil on this without opening it up so oftentimes with these I recommend not opening them up so this is also in the same family this was the earlier earlier version of the capital cart which 
it's branded audio pack and that's what this other one with the screw is branded as well it's branded audio pack so you'll oftentimes see this one uh, in a white color or off-white color like this with a pink front label on it and these always have a screw under this label right here and again with this style it has a reel that's very similar to the one that I just showed you here that I just had opened up so oftentimes um, if the label is in very is in really good shape and the customer does not really does not want me to damage the label um, it, you know unless I absolutely have to I will just do a tune-up on this without opening this up um, as I said you can you can clean the pad area you can remove the old pad and you can clean the area up oh, that doesn't work. Um, you can clean this area up and do the smush and push uh, is what some of my customers call it uh, with a pad and I will show you how to do that uh, here at a later on a later video but for now I just wanted to show you this is this is how to tell whether or not you need to uh, cut a hole in the cap your capital branded cart um, and if you do have to cut the hole how where the where the screw is going to be and how to do it in a way um, so as to cause minimal damage to the label and I'll show you that one more time with this one now I'm going to open this one up I'm going to go ahead and open this one up but it's what I did last time is you take your straight edge razor here where this hole is under underneath which is where the screw is at you're going to just take the tip of it push it in so that it cuts all the way from one end to the other turn it and then do it again so it's so I'm making an X push down so that the cut is going end to end here on the circle then you just take your small screwdriver and you peel carefully peel up where you just cut the label like so doing minimal damage hopefully sometimes it works well and sometimes it does not so, but this is the best way I have found uh, that causes the min <clears throat> least amount of damage here so there you go hopefully this helps someone thanks for watching bye